Hey guys, what's going on? I know it has been a very long time since I've had anything up on the channel. In fact, I think if I even go to uh, to my YouTube, hi Kitty Cat, um, just kind of doing this live. I think it's been about two months, if I remember right. Um, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, about two months ago was was my last video, and uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update. It explained why that's been the case and uh, kind of the future of where I want to take things here. Um, so as I had talked about in a couple of my videos, I was uh, I was dealing with a lot. Um, I had moved out of a place intending to move to a new place. That didn't work out. So I was staying with a friend for a couple of months who uh, at the beginning of it said that she was perfectly fine with me staying there and as things got... Uh, as I was looking harder and harder and trying to save up money, she started getting more passive aggressive with me. Long story short, I wasn't able to save up money, um, which made moving out much more difficult. I did manage to finally get a place. That's why I am in a brand new room. Um, this is my own room. Um, I am living with a couple of people, but other than that, like this is this is my place, this is my home. And so um, I I moved a little over a month ago. No, a little under a month ago. Sorry. Uh, I've been working today, and uh, so I had originally planned at that point to get the channel back up and running, start getting some new content. Um, the week that I moved, we had to fire two people that I work, uh, two people at my work, and so um, my 40-hour weeks were suddenly becoming 50 to 60-hour weeks. Um, I was working much, much more. I was typically getting one day off a week. And for me, I chose, instead of doing things like recording, bulk, trying to bulk record, instead I had to prioritize and I had to do things like uh, grocery shopping or doing laundry or cleaning, things like that. Um, and in, in some of those cases, it, it was even just relaxing. It was just trying to, uh, to get my energy back up, to get caught up on my sleep. And so... Um, I had decided at that point to put the the new plans on hold again, which obviously didn't matter to you guys because I didn't do an update video. Um, but I put things on hold again for a bit. Now I'm finally kind of starting to get settled in. We've got a couple new people hired, so I'm getting settled in. Um, and so I, I was actually thinking at work tonight a decent bit about um, get started back up. It's been on my mind for about a week and a half now, but I've been working a lot over the last week, and so... I thought to myself, you know what? Right now I'm recording this. It is 12:25 in the morning on Thursday morning. I try. I was gonna try to get it started before midnight, but that didn't happen. Um, I was looking for my webcam after I moved everything, and that took like half hour to find. Um, and so what I'm going to do after I get done with this update video, I'm going to bed. And when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to start my first load of laundry and start recording. Uh, I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to record yet. That's kind of going to play it by ear. Um, I do have a list of stuff here that I'm going to go over what I want to do so I can get your guys' thoughts on it, uh, give you guys an update for where I kind of want to go with things. Um, and so we're. I'm just going to list off some of the things. So I think before I had... Uh, before I took the hiatus, I had talked about wanting to do some non-Pokemon related stuff on the channel. My channel is not a pure Pokemon channel. It's not a specific channel. It's just, it, it's specific to me. It's things that I like to do. Uh, but with that being said, Pokemon is still a huge chunk of my life. It's something I very much enjoy. And so I, I've actually come out with a list of some Pokemon things that I want to do. Um, some Pokemon things that I am going to end up doing, and some Pokemon things that I might end up doing, but I'm not entirely sure. So, starting out with the things that I'm definitely going to do, I want to do an egg lock. And I want to do an egg lock with Pokemon White 2 or Black 2. I haven't figured out which game. To me, it's pretty much all the same, um, regardless. I might go and do a ROM hack egg lock, so like Blaze Black 2 or Volt White 2. Um, I've never done an egg lock. Okay, that's a lot. I have done an egg lock. I've done one with Insurgents. I've never done one with a main series game. And with Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, those are both games that I played them through to completion when they came out and have not played them through to completion ever since. So, the story's not new to me, but it's not... 
recent to me, and I've forgotten a lot of little nuances and so on and so forth. The second thing I definitely want to do, and I might start thinking about this once November starts coming up, which I say that, but it's already, you know, the 22nd of October, is uh, doing some mystery dungeon stuff. Uh, Super Mystery Dungeon comes out in about a month or so, and I want to do some stuff to kind of ramp up excitement for that, um, ramp up my own excitement for that. So I'm thinking about maybe doing, like, Explorers of the Sky, because I think that's probably one of the better Mystery Dungeon games. If I don't do that, Explorers of Time or Darkness works the exact same, just with some slightly less content. Um, but that's what I'm thinking about. Number three. This is something I am going to do. This I have my mind set on this, and this actually goes with something a little bit later in the list that I'm just going to bump up. Um, I want to do deck building. I've been saying that for months now, and I've kind of been... Um, biting the bullet on it because when I build decks I don't get the actual cards until I know the deck works and so I proxy out a deck um, which basically means that I, I write down all the information that a card has on a little slip of paper I stick it in a card sleeve with a the back of a regular Pokemon card so that you know they, they have the same weight the same density so on and so forth and that's how I play and I test out this deck for a couple of weeks, maybe a month or two, and if it works, then I go out and I actually get the cards for it. So it makes it very difficult to like do deck building where I'm like, hey, I'm going to show you this card, and this card has this, when it's just a little slip of paper that actually has it written on it. But what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to do some, I don't want to say live stuff, but um, I'm not great with editing. I'm just going to come right out and say that I suck at editing. But I want to do something with, um, I know I can do it live. I've done that with a friend before with streaming where I can actually do it live. And so I might do some live stuff where I can actually like have the images of the card and bring it up on the screen and center it just right and so on and so forth. Because um, I, I come up with really creative decks. I, I like decks that are very different from the metagame. And so that's something I want to do. I also just want to do, I'm thinking about doing this... Um, typically about two or three weeks before a new expansion releases and it's just a segment called card talk where I bring up some of the more powerful cards in the new set or some of the more interesting cards in the new set I talk about them give some details um, ways that it would combo ways that it improves the game so on and so forth um, I want to start doing that I'll probably start doing that here in a about a week or two because I know the new set releases at some point in November for us. Uh, Pokemon XY Break I think it's called. Um, so I kind of want to do that. Next I want, this is something I want to do but is not a high priority, is I want to do some stuff on Showdown. So I don't have a capture card with my 3DS otherwise I would actually just be doing um, stuff with my 3DS. Battle Spot, um, uh, Road to Rank, something like that. Uh, but I don't. I don't have a capture card for my 3DS. It's something I'm saving up for, but at the moment it's not a high priority. But I would love to do Showdown. I've done Showdown for a couple of streams. I think I've done a video or two regarding it. And I want to do um, two kinds of Showdown. The first I want to do is just randoms. I want to do a rated random battle. Um, it boosts my own talent as far, or my own skill as far as uh, Pokemon battling goes because I don't get a choice to see you know what every one of these Pokemon is or has or so on until I start the battle. Um, I think it's also really entertaining. You can come up with some very interesting uh, team combos when you do something like that. And so I kind of want to do that. I also want to do a team builder where I actually pick one or two Pokemon to center around a team in a specific tier and just do a couple of battles with that every week. Uh, Again, not as high a priority as the stuff like uh, deck building or card talk or um, some of the Let's Plays that I'm doing. And that actually brings me to my last Pokemon item. I want to bring the Tom Lock back. I know that I stopped on Heart Gold right around the 5th um, gym. I believe it was uh, Sea and Woods gym. That's kind of where I stopped. I stopped because things were starting to get really hectic both at work and in my home life. Excuse me for that. Like I said, it is, it's like 1230 in the morning and I, I worked an eight hour shift today. Um, I want to bring it back. I kind of want to bring it back with a different game though. And I'm not entirely sure what game I want to do. I might go with, um, 
Platinum. I really like Platinum, um, even though it's kind of a slower game as far as like battling and things like that goes. Um, but I don't know. I, that is something that will happen. I will bring that back. I actually kind of revised it, revised the rules, so on and so forth, um, to make things a little bit different than the last time because I noticed how much difficulty I was having last time, and I don't want it to just end. So that's kind of the way we'll go with that. Excuse me, I apologize for that. So now, to get on to some of the non-Pokemon stuff. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is a game that me and my friends have been playing a decent bit lately. It's called Blood Bowl 2. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, it is a football game played with mythical creatures. You've got orcs, you've got elves, you've got goblins, you've got rat men, you've got lizard men. Um, and the goal is to win the game, obviously, by scoring but also to kill your opponent. I've actually been having a lot of fun with this. Each uh, each actual game takes about an hour, so it would be just about the perfect amount of, uh, of time for an episode. When I throw one of these episodes in a week, just play one random game, uh, and show you guys what it's like. That's something I definitely want to bring to the channel. I might do something like that on a... On Sundays because right now in America for anybody who's not in America it is football season so on Saturdays we have college football games and then on Sundays we have professional football games and so I might do something like that where I just record a game and uh, put it up on Sunday oh excuse me you guys can kind of just see for yourself what it's like I want to do some state of decay stuff but that's actually a little lower down on my priority list because I played a lot of that game um, I just really missed that game, to be 100% honest with you. And it's unfortunate that um, I keep getting... Anytime I post anything from State of Decay, I get a copyright strike against me. Despite the fact that I always put in the description, like, this uh, this game belongs to Undead Labs, all properties are owned by them, so on and so forth. Every time, my video's up for about a half hour to an hour, and I get a copyright strike against me because of the music. So if that's the case, then um, I might have to reserve that for something like live streaming where I'm not going to get hit with those sort of things um, quite as often, even though I'm acknowledging everybody who who deserves acknowledgement for the excellent work that they put into the game. If I did, I'd do the Year One Survival Edition. It's just got better graphics. It's got more stuff in it. Um, that's a little lower on the list, though, as far as what I want to do. And I honestly have no idea why I'm yawning so much right now, because I'm not even that horribly tired. The next thing... So I had talked in my uh, my last video, back, way back in August, that I wanted to do something for the month of September called Moonrise Mondays. About a week after I had said that, and I had kind of taken a, a what I thought was going to be like a week long break from the channel, which turned into you know two months. Um, I went to Undead Labs to their actual support page or their uh, their main website and saw a slightly upsetting post. Moonrise will be shutting its servers down on December 31st, 2015. They are calling it their sunset on Moonrise. And uh, what happened was a lot of people downloaded the game, played it for a couple of hours, never picked it back up again. And that's not exactly a good model for a free-to-play game that re requires, or um, not necessarily requires, but uh, they gain a lot of their revenue from people who play consistently. So they are shutting their servers down which means that um, December 31st it looks like will be the last day for Moonrise because it runs purely online so like January 1st I couldn't just be like I'm just gonna play an offline mode of this game it just won't happen I've done a little bit of playing in it ever since then I wanna do some more videos for Moonrise I wanna do it even if you guys aren't interested in watching them, which, if the uh, the past is any judgment, like those are some of my highest viewed uh, videos on the channel. Even if you guys aren't interested, I'm interested in it. If not for just being able to record the fun that I've had in that game, and it really is, it is such a shame. And I'm not blaming anybody. I'm guilty of this too. Of like, I download a game and I play it for a little bit, and then life gets in the way. And I'm sure that happened for a lot of people. Life got in the way. They just couldn't uh, 
couldn't keep it up, and so the game kind of fell to the wayside. But I want to do some stuff to celebrate the amazing game that is Moonrise, to at least give myself some recording of it for um, for the future. If I ever get lonely and miss that game, which it, it already has happened several times, I've logged in that game just so I could see the world and I could see my my creatures, and so that's that's definitely going to happen. I'm probably going to do something like that throughout the month of November. I also want something to go up on Halloween for Moonrise because you know it's Halloween. We got all these little little kids running around in monster costumes. What better way to celebrate Halloween than? Uh, Pulling my own monsters. I don't want to say out of my pocket because I make some Pokemon. Pulling my own monsters out and uh, and having some fun with them. So that's definitely going to happen. Um, the next thing that I have on my list. One of my friends keeps badgering me to play this game. I played it for a little bit, but not for very long. I'm going to do Skyrim for noobs. That's going to happen. At some point. I know it's a game that's like four years old. I've barely played it. I'm for the most part a noob at Skyrim. And so I actually think that there's a decent bit of entertainment out of that fact, of the fact that I have for the most part no clue what I'm doing. So that's going to happen at some point in the future. Um, the next two are kind of together. So I want to do some Fallout New Vegas stuff in the upcoming weeks, um, but not just your regular normal Fallout New Vegas um, gameplay. I want to do some mods, because anybody who's played Fallout New Vegas has gotten the main story, but not everybody who's played it has gotten the mods. And so I kind of want to do some of the mods um, that introduce new stories, or uh, new experiences to the gameplay. Um, and I want to do that leading up to November 10th, where uh, Fallout 4 will release. The downside to Fallout 4 releasing on November 10th, at least for me, is that it will unlock on my Steam account at midnight. I'm pretty sure people are going to crash Steam in, in one of two ways. Either they're going to crash Steam by downloading it so much that it's just going to destroy the, uh, the download speed or the bandwidth, or people are actually going to try to hit Steam with something like a uh, dedicated denial of service attack, just to because uh, people do this stuff all the time. It happened last Christmas. All all these kids had brand new video games and couldn't get online to play them because somebody had attacked the the servers. Uh, I also work that morning. I work 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. But that actually means that I have to leave at like 6:20 or so. And I'll, I won't get home until about 3.30 or so. So what I'm thinking about doing is... I apologize, guys. Like I said, I'm, now I'm starting to get really tired. Um, what I'm planning on doing, letting it download over the night up until I, you know, get home from work. And once I get home from work, I'm not sure if it's going to be a... a like a YouTube live sort of thing because I haven't really experimented around with that like I have with Twitch or if I'll be on Twitch. It'll be one of the two. Um, do a live stream of Fallout 4. I know I'm going to miss the bandwagon. There's going to be thousands of people doing live streams for Fallout 4. Um, I'm going to be so far behind those people in terms of story because they will have about 15 hours on me as far as that goes. But it's something I'm thinking about. Um, it's something I really want to do, and if for whatever reason I can't do it that day, then I, I'll probably play a little bit on my own and uh, do a live stream that weekend. We'll figure something out. The next thing, and this is actually kind of it for the video games, and I'm wrapping these two things up together, is uh, Digimon. So, I, you guys know I love Pokemon. I love Digimon. I want to do Digimon, some Digimon stuff. Now, I've actually been replaying through Digimon Adventure for the PSP. It is a role-playing game that takes the exact story from the first season of Digimon, called Digimon Adventure in Japan. It, um, there's been a fan translation project for it that has gotten all the way up through uh, the end of Venom Myotismon. Everything after that is still in Japanese, but everything prior to that is in English. Some of it's not the best translation, but you get by. Uh, but it's a really fun role-playing game. 
Um, and so I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to play that through for you guys. Do uh, do some uh, let's play for that. Uh, Digimon World, uh, not one. As much as I like one, I just I can't deal with one. Um, Digimon World the two and three for the PlayStation. Two of my favorite Digimon games. Even though Digimon World three had its issues and so on, um, I still love both games to death. And I'm thinking about doing a let's play for those. Uh huh. Both really good RPG games. Again, right now adventure is the priority. It's at the top of that list, um, along with this next game, which is Digimon World Redigitized for the PSP. Now there was a fan translation project for that that was 100% completed. Everything in the game is translated, and so um, it actually functions more like the first Digimon World, which is why. I wouldn't go back and do Digimon World if I have a much better, more advanced game to do. Uh, so those two are kind of at the top of my list for Digimon, and they're both, um, well Digimon Adventure is one of those that it's more linear because it's each episode in the game is an episode in the TV show, so the very first episode in the TV show is the very first episode in the game. Um, the episode where they defeat Myotismon is an episode, like so on and so forth. Digimon World redigitizes one of those games that I could play linear. I could play linearly for a little while, and then, uh, and hey, I played on my own for a bit, and I come back, and I just give you guys a heads up. Hey, this is what happened. Uh, so I definitely want to bring those to the channel. And the very last thing, I'm not sure many of you guys have noticed, but I'm a huge nerd. Um, as I said, I just moved into this place, but I'm hoping to have some posters up on these walls in the next couple of weeks. Um, and one of the big posters that I have that I absolutely love, so I went to a Walking Dead convention last year in Atlanta, Walker Soccer Con, and I got Melissa Hutchinson to sign one of my posters. For those of you who don't know, if you've played the Walking Dead game from Telltale, the one with the episodes, not the crappy one where you play as Daryl and it's just horrible, um, the little girl, Clementine, is voiced by this amazing lady, Melissa, Melissa Hutchinson. Um, I could tell you guys stories about her, just how awesome she was at this convention. Uh, I'm a huge kind of nerd like that, and I want to do some comic book stuff. Even if it's just reviews, uh, comic books, movies, things like that. And so here, I don't, I'm not sure when the next issue releases. I might actually just Google that right now. Um, grab my keyboard. Um, I want to do a review for... Let's see, the next issue of The Walking Dead comic book, uh, which is issue 148, releases on November 11th. So, what I'm going to end up doing, what I'm going to start doing definitely, is uh, reviews. Reviews for things like The Walking Dead. I might start that this weekend with the new episode that will air on Sunday. Uh, I kind of have to see how things are going. So, um because the new episode airs Sunday night, and typically I talk to one of my best friends, the one who went with me on this trip, Sunday night. Uh, I'll talk to him on Sunday night, and then recording a review, even if it's just 10 minutes, takes you know 25 minutes to do, because I have to review, I have to check the audio on it, make sure everything's good, post it to YouTube. Um, and so I'm getting to bed about one in the morning, and then I'm turning around and waking up at 5.30 for work the next morning. So I'm kind of have to see where things go as far as that goes, but um, we will definitely see, but I will be doing reviews. So it's just a matter of whether that review goes up Sunday night as soon as the episode is done and I'm done talking with my friend and kind of getting his thoughts on things, or whether I uh, wait until Monday. Uh, but that will that will start happening. I'm going to do reviews for movies. Um, some really big stuff is coming out this year, Mockingjay Part 2. Uh, Star Wars, Captain America 3 is coming out in the, uh, a couple of months, Deadpool's coming out in a couple of months. I want to do some movie reviews too. I feel like it expands my horizons as an entertainer because when I'm playing video games with you guys, I'm completely unscripted. It's just, you know, whatever I feel like saying or talking about. When I'm doing a movie review, I'm going to actually write out notes. Like, I, I did up notes for this. Like, I have my, my list of you know, 
things to talk about. I have my list for the Tom Lock, but everything else, like, I'm pretty unscripted. And I do a decent job of improvising, but I don't want to improvise for something that's going to be more of an official review. So that's kind of where that goes. Um, holy crap, I'm already at 25 minutes. I did not realize this was running so long. And see, this is what happens. I get long-winded and I talk for a long time. But um, that's kind of the future of where I want to take the channel, where I want to take things. If it gets me more views, great. If it doesn't, great. I don't, at this point, you guys have to realize that I do this for fun. I do this because I like it, and if for whatever reason I feel myself start to get burned out, I take steps away, and I'm fine with that. Um, but that is kind of where we, where I at least see things going. If you guys have any suggestions where you things you want to see, things you want me to talk about, things that um, you want me to review or whatever, let me know. Like, please drop drop a comment down in the comment section. Let me know, um, and I will definitely look into it. Like, while part of it is me wanting to have fun for this, there's so many things in life that I would have fun with, but I've never tried. It's it's like the old adage of like, you know, a little kid says that they don't like something, but they've never tried it. I don't know, like, I thought I was going to hate Blood Bowl 2. I really did. I got it on my iPad, and I hated it on my iPad. And I, the only reason I got it on my computer was uh, because all my friends were kind of pressuring me into it. It's, that's a good kind of peer pressure. Download video games. Um, and I, I really started enjoying it. So, even just individual people can change over a course of a couple of weeks. It, it's entirely possible you guys will suggest something, and I'll love it. And you know what? If I don't love it, and I put up a video, like, if there's no obligation for me to continue it. I'm doing this for fun, I'm doing this to entertain. Um, and so, if if I don't like it, I don't like it. That's fine. I'll move on to something else, something that I do like. Uh, but, before I keep going on on this long-winded rant, because inevitably I probably would, uh, I just want to say thank you guys. Uh, if you're still with the channel, thank you so much. Um, I know it's easy to click subscribe on something and just walk away, but at the same time, it still means a lot to me. Um, for those of you who actually watch this in its entirety, thank you so much, because it is a 27 and a half minute long video at the minimum. That's if I edit it right now, which I'm not going to. I have to say my thank yous. Uh, but thank you for watching this in its entirety. I am so excited for where things are going to go. Uh, like that's all I could think about at work tonight that's why I had to write out my list and I really hope that you guys are excited too uh, and with that being said um, remember I will not start posting stuff up this is the first video that will go up um, probably Sunday night would be the earliest with my Walking Dead review but if I don't get that up Monday will be the first new uh, the first video on the channel um, for my new set list so I'm not going to post anything up on a Thursday or Friday or Saturday or maybe, like I said, maybe Sunday night, but it would be late Sunday night or early Monday morning. Um, and that's in the hopes that I can kind of bulk record some stuff, get a little bit of rest, record some more, move on from there. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It means a ton to me. And uh, we're going to see where things go. In the meantime, I will catch you guys later. Tommy out.